Hey, welcome to Bats and Bonsai. That's how we do it. Mwah. That's exactly how you do it. Hello everybody, welcome to Bass and Bonsai. We're doing an unboxing today. Now, I'll show you real quick stuff I got and a couple weeks ago, I picked up the other day and we just got this package in from Tackle Warehouse. A few weeks ago, they were supposed to come in with the purple line and all that kind of stuff. I got that line in, in the cool blue and these uh, tacker knobs. I did order a pair and already put it on the line and the knob on this Revo and this thing looks awesome. The only downside to aluminum knobs is or aluminum side plates is in cold weather it gets cold. I already fished with this and looks awesome, works awesome, feels awesome other than in cold weather. But that's the stuff that we were waiting on. Kind of took a while to get here. I went today and these are pretty good. It's hard to find them in 16th, but this was an 8th ounce uh, black and blue uh, little uh, Bitsy Bugs from Strike King. I do use them from time to time. I just picked up one of those since I was up at, uh, I think I got that at Walmart. But and then Also at Walmart, I picked up this because I took my P-Line Original 15 pound test and we were using it to do something with Christmas decoration stuff, making stuff with ornaments and nobody knows where it's at. So I just picked up this one. We'll double check the uh, durability of this Grand Slam stuff. I hear it's not bad and it was pretty, you know, wasn't that expensive. So we're gonna try it. And my 15 pound test, it, you know, it's a copolymer fluorocarbon coated is what it says. And that's kind of what I, the P-Line original I was using. A uh, little different color, but not too bad. So we're gonna try that. Now, before I get into this unboxing, and I think I've talked about these rods in a different video. I made a video, but I also picked these up at Bass Pro Shops for $39.99. They are cool little rods, the lightning rods. I think they've, you know, the generation just before these, I didn't really care for that much. I like these. They're fairly lightweight. I'll try them out, see how sensitive and durable they are when I get out, but they're kind of light. And uh, since I'm kind of into BFS stuff, they'll work out real well. So I did pick out their two lightest ones on the six foot pistol grip, and then this is the six foot six. Definitely can't wait to get on the water actually, you know, get some bites and catch a few fish and see what I think of those. Now, on to the unboxing for today. Can you guys see this box? Tackle Warehouse, yes, do you want the free sticker? Yeah, give it to me, it's all mangled up. But anyway, cool, I got another sticker. What did I order? Oh, I remember. I ordered some chatterbaits. There is a color that works. That's a color I liked before I liked black and blue. I've always known about all the colors, but I had better luck with this color over black and blue. But this last year was black and blue was on fire. Now what really came on fire is when I put a gold blade on it. And I don't know if it was accident or whatever, but I think I ordered something like this. And it's got a black head. And then I threw the uh, uh, black and blue skirt on it, and the rest is history as far as the rest of, you know, how last year was going for me with that color combination. So I got a few more of those. And I got to talking with the subscriber that, you know, I said maybe I can do a comparison. There is the expensive one. And I'll be honest, looking at these, I don't think that... I'm going to be impressed with paying, what are these, like 15 something, and that's $4.99. You know, I could have three of these as opposed to one of these. And it's got the black blade, but you, you can either paint it black or you, you know, I don't know, you can, I think uh, this one comes with a either black or almost black blade. So it wouldn't take much to copy the blade part if that's what you're wanting. So what we're gonna do, be looking forward to a shootout. And it may be a one-time thing, and then I'm gonna try to, as long as I don't lose this one anyway, I can get more of these, I think I got a couple of these now. Is to, throughout, you know, just fishing, is this worth the money, you know? How does it compare? I'm definitely gonna do at least a one day, maybe a couple different days, and then just a period of, you know, next, until I lose this anyway. Do I think it actually is doing better? than just a standard 499 black and blue chatterbait. 
my opinions just glancing at them, it's not worth the money. But we'll see. I'll take them out of the package. We'll, I may even do a comparison, a little short video comparing that. But this is just a quick, uh, nothing I do is quick, I know. Unboxing video. So those two Chatterbaits. And I want to try to work on Chatterbait different color and blades and stuff this coming year. But I also picked up, and these are the only ones I kind of like. I, that my last big bass on the shaky head came on, uh, I believe it was the brown ones, but I picked up 16th ounce. The finesse rugby jigs are the one to get. The rugby jigs themselves I ordered in 16th ounce. I, I like the concept, that, but it's down inside. You, you like can't even get the line tied on right. The, it's horrible. But these are awesome. I like these so far. They're working good. I got three sets of them just to, so I have enough to get through a little while anyway. But what else? Oh, then I'll talk about these real quick. I've had these in the last, you know, everybody knows about the Kai Tech. But I want to get black and blue. I'm going to try these on a, as a, on a trailer for that is why I got that. It may be almost too big, but I could always just... Uh, chop off that part and use that but I wanted to try a few different alternatives to a trailer for the black and blue as opposed to what I was using the reaction innovations black and blue I love it but man it doesn't take a lot of fish before it knocks it off and you need to put another one and for some reason I don't know if it's just the weight of it how it holds it how I reel but that trailer about that weight I, I catch more fish than without it I don't like throwing a chatterbait without that uh, crawdad imitation trailer. Now these are the ones that I like rigging up. Where is it at? On this guy right here. I can take one of the little ones, just rig it up on that 16th ounce, and it's kind of a little but loud, crazy, wiggly imitation of a crawdad. So I got another one of those, but then I also got that to maybe run with uh, as a trailer on a chatterbait by itself, just a bigger uh, you know version but I don't think I've had that color that big I've got some of the orange ones but I don't think I'd ever just bought the bigger one but then last couple fishing trips I went one trip uh, bonsai guy went with me and he was using riot baits he had the bigger one I think it's still on my chatterbait somewhere not that chatterbait but he had the bigger you know just the uh, what are these called yeah, the fuzzy or something. This is called the little fuzzy. I can't remember exactly what his was called. But they were a bigger version, and I put it on, you know, because I ran out of my other ones. And this isn't the color. I'm getting the, the kind of light orange ones are the ones I'm going to order, but they were out of them. But that dude there, I'm hoping to put on the back, and it will hold up. You know? Run it with the black up, blue down. That should be a good combination. Or on a small jig like this by itself, try it like that. But that black and blue color, or on the Bitsy Bug, maybe rig it up, maybe chop it down just a little bit. But the one he had anyway felt like it, it just seemed like it was going to stay on longer and it, you know, than what the Reaction Innovations do. I have a reaction innovation right here if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about. But and I love those by themselves, but they the downside is you will go through those. So it's kind of a softer plastic that I really don't like cuz I love the uh, Z-Man stuff, but Z-Man doesn't really make a good uh small enough one of these that I like. So I got these to try out and I'm gonna order a couple more of the other colors once they are available I think at the end of this month or in the beginning of February they're gonna be available so that's it I've got to get some rattles a few different colors of these this is the only color they had in stock that I like so they actually must be pretty good people are ordering them all right guys hope you like that quick video on the unboxing uh, hit the like button subscribe to the channel help share this channel and whatever you do get out and go bass and bonsai and thank you for watching. Oh, get it, get it! Yeah! <laughs> it got it.